All right, so now what we want to do is we want to add that actual form so we can start posting quotes again. So forms um, are an element that already exists, uh, but Bootstrap has some prettier CSS they can add to it. So we're going to open up our Bootstrap area. So we're going to go back to Get Bootstrap, and we're going to go to the CSS uh, section. You can click on a link at the top, or you can just type in the word CSS, your choice. If you look for your uh, little little area on the side here, you can see that there's a spot for forms. Um, and then the one we want is we actually want the horizontal form. That's the one that we're going to use this time. You can see that this kind of looks like the form we were using before. Uh, so you can just go ahead and click on Copy here. And we're going to bring it into our, our project again. And where there was just a dot, 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 uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and make some space there. So I'm going to paste in uh, this form. So I'm just going to paste that guy right there. And so it, uh, it definitely needs some reformatting. So I'm going to highlight uh, my whole modal, and I'm going to hit Control-Shift-F, and it's just going to slide that form over. And you can go ahead and view it real quick just to kind of see what we're working on. So if I reload my page and then I hit uh, add quote, uh, you can see that now it shows up with a very different form in the inside. Um, email and password, those are actually pretty close to what I want, and then I'm just going to have to get rid of this remember me and sign in nonsense, because we're going to put our buttons down here in the footer. Um, so we're going to delete those guys, update those guys, uh, and then we'll kind of be in business. Let's review what we were what we were trying to get. So what we're wanting to do is we we're wanting to have our form. Uh, it wanted to have the action of add quote, uh, and then there's there's various things in here, but really the only things that matter about a form are the various inputs, right? Um, so there was an input for a quote, which was a text input, movie, which was text, and then there was a submit button as well. So those are the only things we care about. The rest is just how it showed up to the user, right? So let's go see if we can add those things to our new form. So I'm going to go ahead and start editing on this guy. So you can see that he's a little bit fancier, right? So he's got a modal body, uh, which has the, the class for the form here. You can see that this form is missing the action. Um, so the action needs to go to add quote. That's kind of the most important thing. And then it's also missing the method, uh, which you can say is post. You can say upper or lowercase, doesn't really matter. And then we're going to kind of take over this email one, and we're going to call it quote. Um, and you can see that there's this there's this four uh, label, um, and then it points to some ID here. This is just for uh, screen readers, uh, but you know we'll try to do a good job with our accessibility. Bootstrap tries to make our lives easier for us, uh, and so we'll just go ahead and, and we'll update that to, to the value we're using. Um, instead of the placeholder saying email, I want it to say quote. We also uh, the most important thing to us is the name of this guy because that's how it's going to get sent up to the server, right? So when it, when it shows up on the server, it's going to have a name. So that was kind of the most important thing for us. So we added that name. Very similar changes to the next one. So this one's going to be a movie. Uh, I'm going to, for the screen readers, I'm going to uh, make the labels for attribute um, match the ID attribute of the input. Uh, and then the useful thing is the when it gets sent to the back end, what is this value called? And that's going to be movie. I can also fix the uh, the placeholder uh, to show users, and I'm going to say, hey, this should be uh, what the heck? I'll say movie title. And then you can remember there are some more things that we didn't need um, with a with a button and a checkbox. Don't need those right now. Good. Good things to know about for later, but don't need them right now. So let's go ahead and refresh our page and see if we're doing good. So refresh, click add quote, uh, and you can see now it says add a movie quote, quote, movie title. Again, bootstrap. I love you. This form looks so pretty. It would take me, if I was trying to do this CSS on my own, it would take me forever, and it would, it would be terrible. Um, so you can see we've got a lot of good things going on. There is still a problem though. So if you were to click on add quote, um, it doesn't do anything, right? Ah, ah. Uh, cancel does something, it makes it go away. Uh, but we want our add quote to, to do something. That would probably add to the functionality of our app. Uh, one problem that we have is you can see our form ended here um, and then the add quote is actually outside of the form. 
So what we want to do is first off, we want to extend the form. So I'm going to do a control X on that guy. And I'm going to extend the form such that it includes uh, that button as well. So it includes both buttons, uh, but the cancel button, who really cares? So I'm just going to go ahead and tab that guy over. Also, uh, since I moved the bottom to, to include the footer, um, I should probably also, for good measure, move the top up. Um, and this is so that it's like actually surrounding the body and the footer instead of being like sandwiched between the two, right? So we move the form to the outside um, and then both the, the body uh, and the footer are inside of it. It's hard to see on my screen because I can't get it all in there. So those were the main changes we wanted to make. The other change we've got to make is that this add quote is of type button. Uh, if we wanted to actually submit the form, it has to be of type submit. So go ahead and save that change as well. So once that's submit, let's go ahead and go visit our page. Uh, make sure you click refresh, uh, then click on add quote. Oops, looks like I made a, a typo there. looks like I didn't quite grab all of the form. Oh, it split onto multiple lines. Easy fix. All right. Put, put all of the form uh, above the modal body. Uh, now reload your page, uh, and hopefully it will look a lot better. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to put in a new quote. We won't see it on the page because we're not loading these, but we will see it in the data store. So now my page is refreshed. I'm going to say add quote. Uh, I'm going to say my movie title, and then I'll say but only... Oops, looks like I have a, a type password on this thing. Looks like I need to change one more thing. Um, so the type here was, was password. I actually just wanted text. I actually wanted text on the email one as well. Uh, so you can see that there's actually some neat features. Look at all these features I'm showing you. Neat features for if you want to do a password, you can make it show up with that dot, dot, dot. So I'm going to say my saved quote that is visible in the data store only for now. So if I click on add quote, um, it should actually have added that quote. If you wanted to see that it's really added, you'll have to go visit the data store, uh, which is just 8,000. Uh, do your data store fewer. Um, and you should be able to see um, this new quote. This new quote is right there. Uh, my save quote that is visible and then it says, in the data store only for now. So you can see it did work. It was successful. It's just that we're not displaying any quotes, right? Uh, so, so check mark on that. Uh, we've got a form. Uh, it looks pretty with Bootstrap. Um, and then it's got all of our old functionality. It goes to the add quote path uh, as a post. Uh, it's got the inputs for, for quote with one with name quote and the other with the name movie. And then it's also got a, a submit which admittedly this time is a button and before it was a submit input, but they look visually the same and they perform the same function. All right, that's our form. Nice work on that. We'll go ahead and cut this video off here. See you next time.